That's what I think Bacon once said, and I'm sitting amongst two eminent musicians uh, who have been part of this program. We call uh, Bebop Brooklyn for many years, and uh, so we want to just talk to them a few minutes about their contribution to history. I got on my left, your right, Brother Eric Wide, and on my right, your left, Brother Cliff Lee. Welcome. Thank you. What's going on? Eric, I'm going to start with you and ask you, uh, I know you always talk about your father having an influence on you on this music. You want to talk about that for a minute? Uh, my father was a tenor saxophone player in, the, I guess, the early 50s, and he was good friends with Sonny Rollins and Wilbur Ware and Gilly Coggins. I met Miles Davis. I met a lot of great... I was around a lot of great musicians early in my life and as I got older I realized who they were so it encouraged me to play more and then I met the wonderful fantastic he's no longer with us Mr. Arthur Rames mm -hmm. and being a gentleman of similar age and the way he played the way he played I caught you know we we had a connection because we were both from Brooklyn so um and I remember my father meeting Arthur because he passed away in 89. They actually both passed away the same year. Uh, my father loved Arthur when he heard Arthur play. I remember I remember bringing cats to the house, and then I started hanging with Arthur. And when I brought Arthur home, my father stayed in the room. I remember this so well. Me and my brother were in the living room with Arthur. He was playing my horn. And I told my father, this cat's going to come over there. And I wanted him to meet him, so he stayed in his room almost like, let me hear. It was almost like a test. Mm. I want to hear what he sound like for it before I meet him. And man, after he heard Arthur, he said, yeah, bring him back here. I want to talk to him. So Pops, you know, loved Arthur. He really wanted me to hang with him. He knew he was uh, up to some serious stuff. And he was definitely, I know, an influence around you know him. He was one of your, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Arthur Raines was, uh, was magnificent. i never forget one day I heard him playing downtown Brooklyn. And I was all the way at the end of the mall, and he was playing in the middle of the mall, and his music was coming all the way through. But uh, Cliff Lee, mm -hmm. uh, come out of a musical legacy uh, also. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'm very proud of my musical legacy because uh, I think it started, uh, well, first of all, we were from Snow Hill, Alabama. That was the foundation of uh, where my grandfather founded a school. Mm. He had uh, gone to book. He had gone to Tuskegee. Uh, he graduated in 1892. Booker T. Washington told him to go back to their communities and do what you could for your people. And he started the school in 1893, wow. Snow Hill Institute, and uh, that's the school that we all attended. And my mother was a great musician, a pianist, a concert pianist. My father was a bandmaster. Florida a and and Bethune Cookman, and I have sisters and brothers who are very talented musically. Your brother being? Brother is Bill Lee, Lee who was the father of Spike Lee, as uh, most people would uh, know. And uh, he's he's done quite a few operas. He's written uh, uh, scores for Spike's films, as well as other ventures. And uh, he's given me a lot of inspiration. Wow. Uh, Thanks a lot, Cliff. Uh, I'm going to ask you all two more questions because I know we're running on time and we're just anxious to get you all up there to play because you're going to hear this music that these brothers are going to put down in a few minutes. Uh, Eric, tell us about your experiences in, in China. I'm going to ask you two questions in one. Your experiences in China and then the last of the two questions will be that of your inspiration to the young brothers, the young cats that I see you always have along with you. What is that bebop legacy you're putting on to them? Okay, my experiences in, in China are very, um, I could get really, you know, long-winded if I had the time. I would like to get it direct, though, and just say that it was a wonderful experience. I learned a lot about the world. I met a lot of people from all over the world, you know. People from Dubai, from Mongolia, as I was talking with you, from uh, Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. You meet people from all over the world that like this music. So it teaches you that, you know, if you dedicate yourself, you you can play this music anywhere in the world. You know, I recently played in Paris and Nice, France, and I actually ran into a good friend of mine, Roy Hargrove. So traveling the world, and definitely China, that experience was one of a, one in a million. You know, I've been there four times. Looking forward to eventually go back. And um, 
I always try to hire, and as you know, I've always hired a lot of musicians a lot younger than myself mm -hmm. because the music is developing in another kind of way now. A lot of these gentlemen go to school, so they don't have to take an apprenticeship of playing in someone's band today. It's, a lot of them get get a further advanced just from the college education system and then they wind up playing through some you know some type of institutionalized thing or but I do a lot of playing in clubs still and you know park park events so I always try to hire a lot of the up and coming you know new cats the baddest cats that I can find and definitely let them know cuz a lot of them know me as a guy that they worked with a lot of them now play with different people Wenton Marsalis, Ali Jackson the drummer in his group uh, Derek Gardner's brother Vincent Gardner today I got a young brother named McClenty Hunter on the drums he's new in town he's been working with Javon Jackson Lou Donaldson so we looking forward to laying it down and I have a new tune that I recently wrote in memory of my man Mr. Arthur Rams it's called Arthur his mode yeah. so we might play that a little bit just to keep his spirit alive because it's actually his birthday is next Monday the tw uh, I mean the 25th of October and I know you always look you always look, look like train after a while when he would be oh man <laughs> we miss him much man we wish he was in I know you do yeah. and even Cliff has a little he could say about Arthur he was his teacher from what I understand so it's ironic that I would even bring him up on this concert but he was a train that was his main man so yeah. we're gonna try to keep it swinging in his memory Thanks a lot, Eric. Yeah, yeah, Arthur, I heard y'all mention Arthur before. I meant to uh, give you uh, the fact that he was a student of mine in the seventh grade at the IS 271 in Brooklyn in 1969. And he came in as a, he was taking concert pian piano lessons. He was a good pianist, but I put on, I let him listen to some Love Supreme and then he was never the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quite a you quite a talent. Love Supreme. Yeah, not Love Supreme. I'm sorry. It was uh my favorite things. My favorite thing. Favorite. Yeah, thing. my yeah, favorite yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he he took it from there. Wow. Yeah. What are you doing with these young cats now, Cliff? Well, try as Eric said, trying to give you know, and more so because he's a young cat to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a young cat with you today. Oh. Well, I got my nephew Arnold. He, he's a uh, he's a uh, uh, Lee. And uh, it's my brother Bill's son, and he's a hell of a uh, young man who's coming up to be quite a bit of, of quite a great musician. He plays alto and soprano, and um, hey, well, I'm glad he could try. Him. Yeah, you. That's yeah, right. A soprano, Did a lot of soprano. Did a lot of soprano. Yeah, a lot of soprano. Yeah. So uh, Arnold is uh, he can feel the bill tonight. Okay. Well, happy birthday, Train. And you know how musicians like to talk. They don't like to speak it. They like to play it. So let's 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 let them hear some of these uh, great great masses we have again. Once again, eminent amongst the eminent, the stellar giants. We got Eric, Wyatt, and Cliff Lee. Thank you all. Peace. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh.